What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today we're going to be doing a video on the five Razer mechanical key switches that are available in their keyboards, including the two Opto mechanical switches. And I figured something like this would be necessary because, say you're looking to buy a new Razer keyboard and you didn't know which switch was which or what the best use case is going to be for you, I figured a little breakdown of the five will help you out. So for this tester here, it's made to kind of show you each switch and give you a better idea of how they actuate. We'll do a sound test in a minute, so hold tight. But for visual reference, when you actuate the key, the LED light will light up to let you know that it's actuated. These five newly constructed dual side wall switches, they're gonna give you more stability in the end, so your keycaps don't have you know as much wobble and stuff when you're typing, and they have an improved durability at 80 million keystrokes. But first we'll revisit the original three, the Razer Green Switch, Razer Orange Switch, and Razer Yellow Switch. The Green Switch is gonna give you that clicky, tactile feedback when you're typing in gaming. They have an actuation force of 50 grams, an actuation point of 1.9 millimeters with a total travel distance of four millimeters. These are the most popular and they're compared to, you know, like Cherry Blues. Next is the Razer Orange Switch. These are tactile but silent, so there's no click, but you still get that feeling of a bump. These have an actuation force of 45 grams to actuate at 1.9 millimeters down with a total travel distance of four millimeters. You can compare the oranges to something like browns. And then is the Razer Yellow Switch. These are linear and silent. They also have an actuation force of 45 grams with an actuation point of 1.2 millimeters, making these noticeably faster, with a total travel distance of just 3.5 millimeters. These are compared to red switches, but are faster. But it's their two latest switches that are very different than a traditional mechanical switch. We have their Optomechanical Clicky Purple switch and the new Optomechanical Linear Red switch. As you can see, they look different. They're built differently than a, than a traditional switch. Um, regular mechanical switches have a bunch of moving parts inside that actuate via metallic contact. But with these, these actuate via an infrared light beam. That means the second a key is actuated, a signal is sent to your PC and it's immediately registered. There's zero to bounce delay, making these faster and more reliable. As you can see, there's also a metal stabilizer bar on both sides of the switch that attaches from the stem to the housing, which is also gonna help improve durability for a lifespan of up to 100 million keystrokes. So we first saw the Clicky Optical Purple switch in the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard. The Razer Clicky Optical switch is the only Clicky switch to actuate at a 1.5 millimeter travel distance, which is 30% shorter than a traditional Clicky mechanical switch, which is 45 grams of actuation force. Then is the latest linear opto mechanical switch found in the Huntsman Tournament Edition keyboard. These Razer linear optical switches actuate at a one millimeter actuation distance, which is over 16% shorter than other linear mechanical switches while requiring a lightweight 40 grams of actuation force. But what's also really cool is both of the opto mechanical switches have the same actuation and reset point for instant reset, meaning the second you actuate them, they are ready to be, you know, reset and actuated again so you can get off, you know, more keystrokes versus a traditional mechanical key switch where sometimes the stem has to go up 0.4 to 0.5 millimeters in order to reset and then be actuated again. So Definitely a lot faster. Um, but now we'll do a sound test of the linear switches so you can see how these sound, as well as the clicky switches.
So when deciding which switch is gonna be best for you, you're gonna have to first figure out which keyboard you want, because obviously the optomechanical switches are only available in the Huntsman, Huntsman Elite, and now the Huntsman Tournament Edition. So they're a newer lineup, while the greens, yellows, and oranges are, you know, still being available in the older lineup of Razer keyboards that, you know, have been available for quite some time now. So newer keyboards, newer optomechanical switches. Then you have to decide what are you gonna be you know, mainly using this for? Obviously gaming and stuff, but if there's gonna be people around you, you might want to avoid the clicky switches for that silent, more linear feel. However, if you like that clicky tactile response when you're typing or gaming, then the purple clicky switches are probably gonna be more what you're looking for. For me personally, I am a huge fan of the Tournament Edition keyboard. It has tons of new great features that the community has been asking for for a while, including a standard bottom row, so you can put on your own custom keycap set, which is why, yes, I have it customized. But for me, I just really enjoy the feel of linear switches. They're less harsh sounding compared to clickies, which could be disturbing other people, and they're noticeably faster. And when you're gaming and stuff, you know, the faster, the better, right? Giving you that competitive edge. So hopefully this video gave you a better understanding of the five Razer Mechanical key switches with some of the graphics and stuff I had on screen to, you know, help explain it more to you so you can see a visual reference as well. And if you want to check them out, I will have all the keyboards listed for you in the description down below. Now I'll wrap it up. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to ask me any questions down below or hit me up on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I well, hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.